Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the week of February 2023. I will be pulling a nine card spread. See who comes through your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. If I know how they truly feel about you deep down inside, get their true intentions with you and what their next actions are gonna be towards you. All right, but Sagittarius, if you're in the group that are in a recent no contact situation where you and your person haven't spoken to each other in a few days, up to a couple of weeks or so, and you're really curious about what the heck is going on with them, how do they feel about the fact that you guys aren't talking much, all that stuff, I will pull their hidden message at the end of the reading, okay? But for everyone else, let's begin. Spirit, please connect me to Sagittarius today. What is the energy surrounding their romantic love life now throughout the week of February 2023? Who's got romantic intentions towards Sagittarius? What's their true feelings? What's the situation surrounding Sagittarius and this person? And this person's actions towards Sagittarius, please. Nine card spread. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my awesome Saggies. All right. First card out is the Emperor, Major Arcana for Aries. Next card out is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Sun, major for Leo. A lot of masculine energy coming through this reading today. So masculine energy is all about being assertive, taking action, laying down a stable foundation, protecting what has been built up to this point. So there's someone coming through this reading today that's wanting to protect what they've created so far. Whether this be you or your person, you'll know who's the one that's doing this, right? Someone feels like they've already put in so much time and effort into a situation and that they don't want to give up or walk away from it anytime soon, right? Especially with the sun energy being here. Someone is feeling very optimistic that something is going to work out favorably. They're just trying to stay positive about it, all right? Trying to keep a positive momentum. So someone really likes you. Someone is um, showing up for you today and they're wanting to take the, the assertive position. They're wanting to take the lead on something is what it feels like. And it could be any gender. I have, I have women that come up as the emperor all the time. Someone here coming through wants to take the lead here with you is what it feels like. Two of Cups. Sagittarius, you've got someone that really wants to bring you guys closer to each other, right? Um, and I'm looking at this Emperor card. It shows me that light or that sun behind this Emperor's head. And then I got the sun right here. So this Emperor is getting some sort of realization this week about what they want. And they're wanting to take the lead. All right, wanting to make something work. Someone may have been throwing themselves into their work or this is someone that is open to rolling up their sleeves and putting in the hard work for a connection that's worth it. And the Two of Cups is influencing this Emperor energy. So this Emperor is realizing that this other person in their life, you, is their Empress. Again, regardless of gender, you could be a dude and show up as an Empress. Um, it's just telling me that this person's seeing you as their other half. Maybe they didn't last week, but they're definitely feeling it this week is what I get with all that sun energy. A sudden realization, a sudden burst of clarity, right? The magician could be a Gemini that you're connecting to or a Virgo, but the magician is ruled by planet Mercury and Mercury rules thoughts and communication. So someone's thinking that this is someone ideal for them and wanting to communicate that realization to the other half, you. Okay, and now I get three major arcanas. Six of Pentacles. Now the Six of Pentacles is now wanting to get to the situation now that you realize something is what one wants, right? You know, you only give to a situation when you want to receive something in return. So this person is wanting an equal, uh, re equal relationship, right? Um, and there's something that this person wants to give to you. This person wants to take the masculine role, wants to be the, the leader here. And there's something that they're giving you this week, whether it's more of their time and attention, whether it's an actual tangible gift. This could be the love offer because this pentacle could be the ace of pentacles, which is a stable new beginning. 
All I know is this is beautiful energy and someone here is not making any plans to find the exit route in regards to you anytime soon. Um, now if that doesn't sound like your person and you and your person are going through a lot of conflict right now maybe this is not your reading um, or the conflict is going to be resolved if there was some sort of challenge here all right let's continue the knight of pentacles this knight is hand delivering this pentacle right here and the pentacle in this reading is a stable relationship that maybe someone took a little while to um, offer somebody because they like to follow through with their offers and don't want to give empty promises. The Emperor is the last person to give someone an empty promise. So they would rather hold on to their information, hold on to their plans until they are sure of their plans. This person is planning to be with you, Sagittarius. This person is planning something and they don't want to say it until they have that clarity. And notice how in this card, there's that big bright sun right here. Some of you guys could be definitely dealing with a Leo or someone's got Leo in their Venus placement. Um, but I got three cards where someone's following the sun, following the truth, following the clarity. Like spirit is lining up a path and illuminating the path for somebody to see which step that they're taking. Because whoever's showing up as this Knight of Pentacles is very fearful of each step that they take. They're always scared that they're taking the wrong step, so they like to take the step slowly, right? It re reminds me of the time when I was a kid and I was walking to our local pool and I was barefoot and I stepped on a freaking bumblebee with its stinger sticking up and my foot swelled up and it was so itchy. Um, after that point, every time after that, I would slowly walk through the grass to make sure I wasn't stepping on any bumblebees or any lit cigarettes, broken glass, because I learned from that past experience that every step could come up with some surprises. So you've got this person that may have gone through some challenging relationships in their past and they're taking things slow moving towards you because they want to make sure that they're not stepping themselves into something that's going to hurt them or hurt you. It's someone that likes follow through, is very dedicated and is letting the light guide their path. Not to sound cheesy or anything like that, but that's what's coming through. Um, you got someone that likes you a lot. I got Cancer energy right here. I got strong Leo, strong Aries, Gemini's here, Virgo. Let's continue. The outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. You may be also connecting with someone that makes a lot of money. Just saying. There's a lot of money in this reading. Or together you guys would bring a lot of money, build an empire. Right? I mean, you guys. That, I mean, if you look at this card right here with the Eight of Pentacles, someone's polishing this pentacle, okay? In this card, that polished pentacle is now being given to somebody, okay? This knight is traveling with that polished pentacle. And then the outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. The receiver accepting that pentacle and then building a whole bunch of pentacles together. A successful relationship. Oh man, this is beautiful. I think this is your best reading in a long time, Sagittarius. You're either meeting someone this week that is going to be a life partner, or you already have this person and you guys are getting to know each other, you're getting closer with each other, you guys are building off of that closeness, and someone's taking it to the next level. What's your advice? King of Cups. Be compassionate, be open, keep your heart open. Don't, don't shut this person out emotionally if you like them. If you don't want them, tell them the truth. But make sure that you're nurturing yourself and that you're doing what makes Sagittarius happy and you're not worrying about what makes other people happy. All right, make sure that you're happy. If you like this person, accept their offer. If you don't like them or you don't trust them or something is going on, trust your intuition. What's the overall energy for the reading? The Four of Cups. There's a part of you that feels like you need to turn your back on this right now or someone's turning their back on the connection with you right now because someone's still trying to figure it out. This is Cancerian energy. All right, so I don't know if someone already rejected somebody's offer or someone feels like they're getting rejected because someone is taking so freaking long to move because this is my geriatric course for a reason. Knight, the Knight of Pentacles, dude is very slow very slow but he means well 
He means well, all right? I hope this is making sense. I feel like I may have lost you. Let me start clarifying. Clarify that emperor. Please clarify that emperor. All I know is if you're single right now, Sagittarius, you're manifesting in a life partner. And if you have someone brand new and things are looking good, it looks like it's gonna look even better as the days go by. Just be patient with this person. Um, but if you're already in a, an established relationship, you guys are getting closer in February is what it feels like to me. There could have been some sort of rejection on someone's part. Why the emperor, please? Why the emperor? Six of wands. Someone may be in the public eye or gets a lot of attention, but this emperor wants their relationships to be successful. And if they don't feel like it's gonna be successful, they don't bother offering a relationship. The wheel of fortune, fate taking over. The wheel of destiny, what's meant to be will be. What's not meant to be will not be. Hold on, I'm shedding. Clarify that eight of pentacles in the sun. Now, this reading almost feels too good to be true for somebody, um, but I'm seeing it here. It's like someone's getting what they're wanting because they've done the work on themselves. Why the Eight of Pentacles to the Sun? Nine of Wands. Someone who's been through some hardships and love working on themselves. And there's the Sun again. Someone's seeing the truth of something. Wow. This is a beautiful reading. Clarify that two of cups. 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 The ten of swords. And the ace of swords. For some of you, just for some of you, this is someone that maybe you're on a break with and there has been a rejection of someone's love offer. Four of cups to the ace of cups and someone's wanting to figure out if there's a way to restore balance with the temperance card. That's not gonna be for everybody. Or there was a false start. Clarify that magician. Someone may feel betrayed by somebody or is fearing a betrayal. Clarify that magician. The four of swords. All right, I'm kind of getting a side message here. And then the moon, the high priestess, eight of pentacles. I'm kind of getting a side message here that um, somebody sabotaged something because they were overthinking a situation and pushed someone really potential away. And there has been no communication for a few days, a couple weeks or so. And someone's spending this time in silence, really trying to listen to their intuition on what to do here. So I may be picking up on a Sagittarius that is on a break with somebody and you're really hoping that they want to make it work with you. Eight of Pentacles to the Temperance card or someone's waiting to see if you'll make it work with them. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Why the Knight of Pentacles? Why the Knight of Pentacles? The Three of Swords. There's a lot of pain surrounding that love offer. Yeah, Five of Cups. Someone doesn't want to get hurt again. Someone's scared to take that first step because the last time they took a first step, they got hurt. Or there's a third party involved, like family interfering, stirring up the pot, making things difficult. Clarify why that Ten of Pentacles is the outcome, though. Ten of Pentacles. There's potential to restore balance in a relationship if things kind of hit a wrong turn, right? Could have been because of other people influencing it you know, drama within family, things like that. But there's potential if two people can just like get out of their butt a little bit and gain different perspectives, something can come back around again and work things out through pentacles. But if this is someone new in your life, Sagittarius, you may be dealing with someone that's been through a, a series of hardships, maybe even has been married before and divorced and is taking their time with you, but they enjoy you, they like you, they feel like you bring them joy. Clarify that King of Cups as Sagittarius's advice. This is not gonna resonate with everybody. I, I, I can already tell you that much. Why the King of Cups? Six of Pentacles. If you see that you're receiving what you deserve, give to this person. But if you don't feel like you're getting what you deserve, go in a different direction. Be cold if you need to. But it feels like 
something's going on here. Someone is interrupting something that could be really secure and stable. Two people just need to talk something out. Um, and if one person's shutting out somebody, the other person is giving up also because what's the point? If my person won't talk to me, how can I fight for this? What's the hidden message for the one on Sagittarius's mind? Letting you down was the worst decision I made. Someone regrets letting somebody down or feels like they're letting someone down. My heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. Sagittarius, for some of you, you're dealing with an on and off again type of dynamic where it's always on and then off and then on and then off and someone just is breaking somebody's heart. I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. And I think I read this one. Oh, I still had dreams about you and our happy times together. So this feels like this has been a connection that's been on the table for a while, no pun intended, and there's been a lot of tests and tribulation, turbulation or whatever that word is. And some, someone's going through a spiritual growth spurt here. There's some sort of spiritual growth happening between you and an other person. It feels like someone's becoming more awakened um, to the connection while the other person is resisting it. There's some, there's some obstacles here. But there's potential. Ten of Pentacles twice for the outcome. There's potential. All right. Do with that information as you will. All right. You could be connecting with a Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, but it could be any zodiac sign. All right. So I hope this helps. I hope it made sense. And until then, later, Gators.